SQL Server Programming and Database Design for Developers. This is Calmanton. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. Let's consider constructing a stored procedure with parameters. So we go to Programmability, Stored Procedures. Let's select a stored procedure, USB get bill of materials. Script stored procedure as create to new query window. So here we see the two parameters, the start product ID and the check date. Let's see how it's being used in the stored procedure. We see check date is being used in the where clause over here as well and uh, same for the start product ID it's used in the where clause. So this is a fairly typical use of uh, parameters because uh, with the where clause we are selecting a subset of data from the table. If we scroll down we see SP add extended property. These are the data dictionary entries for the stored procedure. Now how can we execute a stored procedure with parameters? So let's script stored procedure again and execute to new query window. So this is how we can execute it. RC is just a return value, but frequently stored procedure is not returning a value, it's returning a data set. But in case it's returning a value, we can print it. Print RC. We have to put the print before we go because uh, the scope of local variables is for the batch. So let's initialize start product ID as 800 and check date as 2008-0205. So we have uh, all of our data ready. So let's execute the batch. And uh, the batch executed and this is the assembly instruction for uh, a bicycle it may be an entire bicycle or it may be a part because there are 87 items in the assembly so let's find out what, what is this product so what we do is select star from production dot product where product ID is 800 execute so yes that's a road bike yellow Summary, a stored procedure can take zero parameters or it can take one or more parameters. One typical use of parameters is um, in the where clause 
to specify a subset of rows from a table. This is the end of a short demo.